Hey what's up guys, Virtually here back again with another video and today I'm going to show you guys what's on my jailbroken iPhone for mid-November 2014. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Now before starting off with the video itself, I'm currently using a 16GB factory unlocked slate grey iPhone 5 and it's currently running on iOS 8.1. Now to start off, I'm currently using a theme on my device called XLA2. Now this is a very lightweight theme and has some great HD icons that look very nice and the best thing about this theme is that it's also compatible with the iPad and runs on iOS 7 too. Now as you guys can probably tell from the video that I don't have any kind of icon labels and that's because of a tweak called no icon labels. Now if I just go ahead and open up my settings here and then scroll down till I find no icon labels. There are a couple of things here that you can tweak according to your taste but I just like to leave them untouched and once you have done that just go ahead and respring the device and you'll be good to go. Moving on the next tweak I have installed is called alkaline. Now what this tweak basically allows me to do is change my battery theme icon which I've currently set to bolus and there are two more options that comes pre-installed but you can also download more of them from Syria. So the first thing in the settings you have is an enable or disable kill switch and of course the pre-installed themes. Uh, like I said you have spots and uh, hibesha and you can just go back and that's pretty much it. After that I have CC settings installed and with this tweak you can add more toggles for line. You can also add custom toggles like VPN, respring, auto lock and stuff like that. So let me just show you guys the two toggles that I've installed right here. Uh, the first one is a toggle to enable or disable cellular data. So just like that. And the next toggle I've installed is a toggle to remove all the background application and both of those come really handy. After that another tweak I've installed on my device is called cylinder. Now I like it because it has more split looking page transitions than barrel and spring to my 3 and because it's free too. And to demonstrate the tweak, let's just go ahead and try out a new page transition. So let's say icon collection for instance. And let's just go back to the home screen to try it out. And it looks very nice. Let's just go ahead and try out another one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose um, spin here. And there we go. Nice and smooth. And that's pretty much it. Coming up next is a tweak called Dock Shift. Now what dock shift basically allows you to do is change the style or the appearance of your dock on the home screen. Now you can choose from a number of different options here but my favorite one is transparent. Now you can also change the page dot settings and whatnot according to your preferences. And let me just show you guys my dock here real quick so you can get a better idea of what this tweak actually does. Coming up after that I also use no slow animations. And what this tweak basically does as suggested by the name is speed up your iOS transitions and animations. Now you can move the slider to the left to make it really fast and snappy or you can move the slider to the absolute right to make it normal and slow. Now personally I like it to keep it somewhere in the middle somewhere around the 50 mark. Another tweet that I unfortunately can't demonstrate in the video is called volume notifier. And what it basically does is play back a small sound every time you change the volume level somewhat like an OS X. You can also have these additional features in here but for some reason they were not working for me. And you can also change the sound types from the built in ones. You have Maverick, you have Yosemite, you have Pop, Ping and much much more. Coming about the volume notifier, I have Winterboard installed. But I've already talked about that in the beginning of this video. And lastly there is Zeppelin which basically allows you to change your career text to any custom logo or any custom text and I've sent it to none right now but there are tons and tons of icons present in there. So there's Dark Knight, Batman, Beats by Dre, Cloud and then there's even Stormtrooper. So that's pretty much it guys I hope you liked this video and if you did make sure to hit that like button down below and also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you want to see any more tech content like this. I'll catch you all later in the next video. Peace.